so everybody could have access to it. So, no, he didn't make financial success of it at first because it, it just didn't make a good business model. He's, he's, he's published it through the hands up, so we did want nothing to do with this. So Dickens funded it himself, actually. But over the years, yes, it did. It paid him back in space. It's never been out of print since that day. Of course, when he started going on, on the road reading with his reading tours, Christmas Carol was the main piece he did over and over and over again. And that made him much more money than the books ever did. So, um, yeah. So, so yes, it, it, eventually it did, but not immediately. Uh, how were his reading tours similar to what you do? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, he was so well known for doing that. Yeah. Um, the, the Dickens shows were, were, were reading. He, he stood at a desk, had a book in one hand. He never looked at it. He had it all memorized. But people wanted to see a reading, so he held a book. Um, where they were similar, so he didn't move. He didn't do all of the stuff I do. But where they were similar was they were incredibly dramatic pieces. He performed every character. They all had their own voice. They all had their own way of standing. He would use the table. Um, so when Bessie Week was dancing, instead of dancing up now like I do, he just danced with his fingers on the table and did a little jig up and down, and things like that. So he really performed it. It wasn't just a literary reading. So in that sense, similar, um, theatrical, big. The very first reading he gave, he told his audience before he began, he said, please, I want you to laugh, I want you to cry, I want you to shout out if you want to. Don't be restrained, you know, join in. Um, and that's what he wanted. So, so in that, that case, they're, they're similar in style. Um, from Lauren and Susie, did you meet your great-great-grandfather? Sadly not. Sadly what, not. <laughs> what did others in your family say about his personality quirks? Um, <laughs> quirks, that's a good word. Um, <laughs> I think the main thing we get back listening to stories from the family about him in whatever he did was his energy, his just massive sense of energy. And that transpired through every aspect of his life. So whether it was um, his, his performing, his writing, his letter writing, his political campaigning, if he wasn't doing anything else, he would go off to wherever he was to visit the nearest factory or the nearest prison or the nearest school. Or he was always on the go. He was a million miles an hour. And I think that's what comes across. Maybe, um, it's that energy he had. A lot of these kinds of things Gerald <coughs> writes about very often. He, he puts together a blog that he um, uh, writes almost every day when you're on When I'm on tour, pretty well every day. Um, depending on how traveling is going, it depends when I can actually get it out. I've, I've got one that's almost ready for yesterday, but I haven't pushed the send button yet. So, for all you anxious people who want to know I have yesterday, it doesn't have that weight. <laughs> but if you're interested in reading Gerald's blog, we left cards at the tables in the back that you can pick up and it'll direct you to where you can yep. find it. Yep. Um, so, Gerald, what character are you most like? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, gosh, I hope not. Um, I think a wonderful thing about A Christmas Carol, and I've learned this over the years of doing it, is that there's a bit of all of the characters in all of us, which is why the story is so successful, because we recognize ourselves throughout the story. Um, we all have a bit of Scrooge in us. Um, you know, there are always times when, please, I just don't want to be doing that anymore. But we all have a bit of Bob Cratchit in us. We all want to be with our family. We feel a little undervalued, a little, you know, we we'll, we'll, we'll want better treatment from, from those around us. But I'm desperate in the family circle. We all have a bit of Fred in us. We all just want to have fun and have a party and, 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 and just be calm and kind and wonderful. Um, you know, the, the charity collector, he's just doing his job, and then suddenly, boom, I go, what? What's happening? Well, we've all had that. So I, I think that's a wonderful thing about it, that there's no single trait that we haven't all got in, in ourselves from the book. Um, I think I'd like to be Scrooge after. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who knew how to keep Christmas well. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be him. <laughs> 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 I honestly can't. Better way to end.
Thank you very much.